Hey Orville, welcome back to another Terraria video. We are here seeing if Terraria bosses can survive another weapon. Boom! Another weapon from the Vades OP Sword mod. Tome of Omniscience. Let's hope that's how you pronounce that. As we can see the damage very, very high or very, very low. Who knows? Who knows, honestly. It does say that it moves at a snail speed. I'm wondering if there's any like Terraria items that say snail speed. A tome of infinite knowledge from the past, present, future, and every timeline. It seems to be a normal sized book, but it can change its pages to anything you want to know. I want to know when Game Readers will finish the 1.4 Summoner playthrough. Actually, I got a little thing here. So you guys know how I have a second channel. Maybe some of you don't know, but I have a second YouTube channel called Game Readers Live. And that's where I've been trying to post all the previous live streams or Twitch streams on there. Uh, I fell a little behind but now i'm catching back up we're getting there slowly make sure to subscribe to that account because i have made a promise i talked about it on a recent twitch stream if that account hits 50 000 subs it's at like 13k right now if that account hits 50k subs i'll take the previous four playthroughs that i haven't finished and i'll let you guys vote which one i'll finish right now so if that hits 50k i'll let you guys vote you guys will vote one whatever one gets voted i'll do like a two or three part long ass episode of me finishing that series maybe i'll even stream it live so you can watch me and then you know i'll edit it all into one speaking about one we have one sponsor for today's video let's check it out today's video is sponsored by woka and their monitor risers they sent me a pair of monitor risers for me to use and man have they been a great addition to my desk setup monitor risers help raise your monitor or laptop screen to an ergonomic eye level on top of that they help keep your desk space neat and organized with the extra storage space they create instead of just having a bunch of stuff scattered all around my desk i now store a bunch of it under my monitor risers and since since I am a content creator, I have a lot of extra gadgets that need a place to be stored. The monitor risers come in all different colors and styles. They range from acrylic, wooden, and even glass. As you guys can see, I went with the wooden ones with the black finish to match the color of my desk. They even have portable and vertical laptop stands, which also come in a bunch of different colors. So what are y'all waiting for? Use my link in the description and pick up a welcome monitor riser today. I promise you, you won't regret it. Now let's get back to the video. King Slime. Let's see his weapon in action here. Let me zoom out real quick. Hey, 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 calm down. What the hell? Jake from State Farm. Get out of here, bro. All right, let's see the weapon in action. It's a pretty good weapon, as you can see. Uh, we are bound to spawn in the Queen Bee. Yeah, we spawned one in and we killed it already. Let's spawn in the Eye of Cthulhu. Bye-bye. We can spawn in the Skeletron, too. Like, we can spawn in bosses while, like, all the projectiles are shooting. What the hell? Do that again. There we go. And uh, we'll probably more than likely just kill him while the projectiles are shooting everywhere. So let's see here. Let's summon in the brain. And then while this is going on, I'll try and type in the eater real quick. Oh, got his ass. This is a pretty good weapon. I know this mod has a decent amount of good weapons. So we'll probably check out even more in the future. But yeah, let us see Lepus and Turk over here. I'm going to Okay. So you know what's doing that? It's the soul of the universe. I'm pretty sure it's the soul of the universe. So let's let's not get touched. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Now I know people have been wanting a uh, soul of eternity episode. I was actually testing the soul of eternity, and like that shit straight up like crashed my game when I was testing it. Like I was testing it against dog, and my game straight up was like frozen by how many like projectiles and attacks were happening. So we'll see when that episode happens. That episode might be a hassle to record, but it'll happen eventually. But yes, let us head on down to hell. Let's continue adding boxes. More and more boxes down here. Wall of Flesh, what's up? That's another box to the collection. We got three already. All right, we shouldn't have to change the time of day. I should just be able to just blast these motherfuckers. Oh, another queen bee. Oh, we're going to end up killing all the queen bees in this world. There's a lot. There's honestly a lot. All right, let's see the eater. Boom, got his ass a little, a little laggy with that one. Bound to get lag with how many projectiles are on the screen. All right, let us take on the golem and plantera here. Okay, we're bound to summon in some queen bees down here. Yep, here we go. We got a couple of them coming. One of them survived? Two of them? Nope, all dead. Oh my God, it's getting really framey. We're losing a lot of FPS now. No more queen bees. No more queen bees. I know me attacking with the weapon is not helping, so I probably should stop. All right, hopefully I'm far enough from the jungle for us not to accidentally kill more queen bees. Who knows, though? Uh-oh. It's Akram. There we go. I don't know. Like, what's up with that boss? I'm surprised it still hasn't been, like, a thing that's been fixed with the uh, Consolaria. Maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe it only happens to me during this series. Maybe it doesn't happen in, like, a regular playthrough. But that's happened quite a bit at this point. All right, the Duke got his ass. 
Martian saucer, go ahead and just throw him in there. Let's get a Dutchman out here, boom. And then let us get Betsy and the Ogre. Damn, Betsy got hit with like the last second of that attack. Boom. You know, I get a lot of comments of people telling me that I like missed a boss, but it's not like an actual boss I missed. It's more of like the person who's commenting is not paying attention. I get more comments of people not paying attention than saying that I quote unquote missed a boss rather than like actual comments of me when I miss a boss. Very surprising. You know, at this point, it is very rare for me to miss a boss. So uh, just, just pay attention when you're watching the video, okay? I know that my beautiful commentary can often distract you, but just, just pay attention, okay? All right, let's do Dungeon Guardian here. Let's not forget about Dungeon Guardian. Got his ass. And while I'm at it, you know, might as well. Let's knock out the Eidolon Worm. I'm kind of interested. Boom, Eidolon Worm. Damn, I love killing that boss. There's something about it. I feel like somebody here is missing. It's all good. Will he die or will I have to attack again? I will have to attack again. All right, that's perfectly fine. That one should, ooh, killed. Wait, what the hell is going on here? What the, why is there like multiple pillars? There's two pillars. Am I about to fight two moon lords at the same time? I don't know. Okay, that's all of them, right? <laughs> I don't know, there was multiple pillars. The world, oh no, okay, the world is doing the little effect in the background. All right, well that's going on. You know what time it is. Let's fight Abyssion. Boom, dead. Did I actually kill him? Yeah, I did actually kill him. Just making sure because, you know, I got the soul of eternity on him. I think that's what's causing things. If I walk into him, they explode. Maybe. Maybe it's just a part of this weapon. I don't know. I don't know. This is not the soul of eternity. This is the soul of the universe. My mistake. This should be a fast kill. Yes. Nice. All right. Let's move on to uh, these dudes from the Thorium mod here. And this should be just one. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's gonna be really loud. I'm, I'm just gonna leave all that in there. This motherfucker was attacking when he wasn't supposed to, and it just got really loud. I didn't even want to say anything. On to the next boss. You know what? Just because we killed the mutant right there, we'll kill him for real this time. Non NPC version. Got his ass. All right. I guess, yeah, we can move into the calamity bosses now. Let's do it. Uh, let's fight Providence first. I was told that fighting nighttime Providence might be better because it has more health or defense, something like that. I don't really think it matters to like a weapon like this, so I'm not even gonna do it. I'm just gonna spawn in Providence because, like, come on, look at the weapon we're using, bro. It's gonna die in like one second. <laughs> All right, let's fight the, the dog. Okay, I think I know which one's the right one. This one. We kill that one, and then the music still should be playing. No, never mind, it said butcher. Okay, we'll summon in the other one then. I don't know. There's a right order. Oh, okay, that is the left one. See, now I got it, now I got it. The left one goes first, then the right one. All right, let us go ahead and take on Yarn here. Where the hell is the spawn? Big red dragon, hard to miss, there we go. Got your ass. So Supreme Cal, always gotta check at the beginning if I could like kill her or not. No, okay, we're good. It's always cool though when I can kill her before like the actual fight starts. All right, let's see it. Sepulcher, where you at? I wanna make sure I hit Sepulcher with the attack too. Yes, sir. Nice and easy. And let's move on to uh, the uh, last set of bosses here. All right, let's start with the boy right here. Bill Cypher, what's up, Bill? Out of all the cool ass names you could have chosen. You know, Cypher is cool, but Bill? Why Bill, bro? And Bill is short for William, right? So his real name is William Cypher? <laughs> Alright, you got the Knuckles. Let's get, uh, let's get some space, because this dude likes to be sneaky sometimes. You know, that's one of the bosses that can kill us in God Mode, and sometimes he'll sneak really quickly and hit us. Alright, let's take on Egg Death. I'm not going to test any bosses from here, because I know some of them make loud noises, and I'm not trying to hear that right now. And I know neither are you guys. Let's do it. Egg Death. Get the hell out of here. One more time. Shit, get it. Kill it a couple of times. Oh, shit. Boom, get the hell out of here. But yes, there you go. There was the Tome of Omniscience. Shout out the developers in the mod again. Make sure to leave more OP weapon suggestions. Soul of Eternity coming soon, I promise. I do have some uh, more interesting ideas for some sort of spin-off episodes we could do. Uh, so one of them might be including Egg Death doing some things to other bosses. That's all I'm going to say. That one's going to be a pain in the ass to record, so we'll see how that goes. Again, make sure to subscribe to the second channel, Game Raiders Live. I'll leave the link in the comment section description. Make sure to sub to it we'll finish a playthrough if you do it see you guys next time